driver? Are you forced to drive a stick shift? Or do you have to learn or want to learn? Well, my truck here, that's a stick shift. I'll teach you how to drive one. Obviously, you know these three pedals if you've ever sat in a stick shift. Clutch, brake, and gas. And you got the shifter. We'll go more into detail on that. Now, first things first, when you go to start this thing up, it's not like an automatic car. It's got a different trick to it. Now, first things first, you got your three pedals here, gas, brake, and clutch. When you go to start it up, you want to do brake first, especially if you're on a hill. You clutch all the way in and make sure you're in first gear. You know, because it's not, I can't move it around that much, so I'm in gear, first gear. And then with these pedals pressed down, you turn it over. If you gauge, lights might come on, whatnot. That's at least how to get started. Now that we have our started up, let's get rolling. And the only thing is though, you can't just press on the gas and let go of the clutch. Because if you, like cause since I'm in gear now, and if you just let go of the clutch, you know, you don't even have to put the brake on. See how the clutch pedal in? If you just blatantly let go of the clutch, your engine will stall. And it could be very violent and bad for your engine. So rule number one, make sure you're in neutral either from your clutch or on the, the shifter before letting go of anything. Now let's get rolling. To get rolling, you have to do a perfect timed pedal motion with your gas and your clutch. See how I'm like that? Now, let's do the same thing. See? Just e a little easy forward and backwards motion. I'm in a controlled parking lot, so don't try this anywhere else. See, just something basic like that. Now, if you, if you do time these pedals wrong, I will try my best to simulate it, but if you time these pedals wrong, you can either end up like this, something like that where it's real jerky, or you can have something like, see how it was a little vibrated there? That's not good for the engine. Now, for the shifter, in America, that is, you got first, second, third, fourth. This is a five speed for the overdrive is fifth gear. Then you have reverse. The only way you can shift, you can't, you can't just pull it down because that'll screw up your gear. You have to clutch. This is neutral. That's first. Neutral, second, third. And you have to go neutral over up. And then fourth is straight down from third. Overdrive. To the right and then reverse right there so that's just a little geometry to begin with on the stick shift itself now let's get rolling now let's do our time our time clutch pedal and that's just basically 50 50 each so now we're rolling whenever coming up to a stop like how I'm at now I always clutch in and then brake and then let's signal, let's turn right. All right, now let's shift to first gear. I'm about 15, 20 miles an hour. So I'm gonna shift to second gear, clutch in, shift, time gas, and I'm making a turn. So I like to shift or clutch in and brake, time, again. Okay, so now we're rolling about 20, 25 miles an hour. Now I'm at 30, let's shift to third gear. Over, timed pedal release. There you go. And you can just, you don't even have to keep your hand up there. Just, yeah, you can press along. Big rule of thumb though, especially for your clutch pedal, do not keep it, do not rest your foot on it or keep it like pressed in halfway or something while cruising. Because that is really bad for your clutch and clutches are not to fix. So just leave your foot on the side and then when you need it, just quickly wrap it around. Oops, like that. Let's see if we can get into fourth gear. Let's do, we're in third. 
hard now. Going 35 miles an hour. Normally when you hit 40, you're supposed to shift, but we'll just shift right now. Fourth gear. I'm in neutral, no clutch, just brake. This is neutral. Come to a full stop. Put on your signal. There's a swirl right over there. First gear, clutch time to release. About 25 to 3,000 RPM. 30. Now I'm coming up to a stop area. Neutral. Neutral on the shifter. No clutch. Just brake. And now I'll show you a little bit more. A big don't that you don't want to do. You don't want to be harsh with it. You want to be really gentle and just ginger like see how that was but you don't want to not unless if you're a professional driver or something you don't want to try to pull like one of these that's a big no that's a big no no you got to be gentle with it you have to treat it like it's your child otherwise you will smell some burning gasoline maybe your clutch burning up also <laughs> you just want to be nice and gentle with it you cannot be too rough unless if you have top of the line parts or something you have to be really gentle otherwise you're gonna screw up your car and your transmission and everything else just a little more and just a little more in depth on when you should shift. See how I'm averaging a little above 15 right now? I could, sh I'm in second gear right now, but you could also be in first. But that's really just bad for your gears. So let's make this turn. Okay, now let's see if we can get up to third gear. 20, I'm in second gear. Let's work our way up to 30. You don't necessarily have to shift on 30. It's just whenever you hear this, the engine rev really high, you should shift just to ease the strain off it. If you watch. That's a really high rev, almost 30, so I'm gonna shift anyways to third gear. <laughs> Since we're in a residential neighborhood, I'm not going to shift any further. See, right now you could be in second or in third. That's in second, this is in third. Let's, let's come to this full stop. And let's go. Twenty miles an hour, second gear. That's just a little more in depth on when you should shift. One thing to not be alarmed about is say, okay, I'm in first gear now, and but say you're sitting at a red light and you end up being in third gear. I'm in third gear right now, and then you start going. Do you see how dead it is though when I move? If something like that happens, don't freak out. If you can, can't can shift to first in time, just little, give it a little more gas than normal. It'll be really high revs. have to be really really careful and whatever you do just don't freak out just take a second and figure <laughs> out what's going on see one last quick word of advice now that we're on a hill I have the emergency brake on no matter what kind of hill you're on keep it on because you may have it on but you know especially because I'm facing downward I backed in Let's say, you know, let's turn on the brake, release that, okay. Even though I'm in gear, clutch, you'll still be moving. So, just a little quick word of advice. Whenever you're on a hill, keep the e-brake on.
MacFan 9000, out. Now remember everyone, don't, don't text, text and drive. drive. Don't text and drive.